Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The royal court announces that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will welcome the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi and his accompanying delegation upon their arrival in the kingdom tomorrow. His Majesty the King will hold talks with the Egyptian President on the distinguished long standing relations between the two brotherly countries, in addition to the latest regional, Arab, and global developments. The royal court wished the kingdom's distinguished guest and the accompanying delegation a pleasant stay in Bahrain. President al Sisi's visit is within the framework of the efforts of the two countries to enhance their solid fraternal relations and bolster cooperation between them in line with the keenness of their leaderships to constantly develop the deep-rooted bilateral ties for the benefit of the two brotherly countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Minister of Tourism Fatma bin Jafar Al Sayrafi at Safraya Palace, who took the legal oath before His Majesty the King. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصة للوطن وللملك ونحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة ونأذود عن حريات الشعب ومصالحه وأمواله ونؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق his Majesty congratulated her, wishing her success in performing her national responsibility of serving the nation and citizens and praising her wealth of experience and competence. The minister extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the royal trust, stressing that this noble director will serve as a beacon in performing her national duties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 30 of 2022, appointing the following Assistant Under Secretaries at the Ministry of Education Dr. Samah Mohammed Sliman Al Ajawi, Assistant Under Secretary for the Development of Teaching and Learning Policies, Dr. Sana Al Saeed Abdullah Al Haddad, Assistant Under Secretary for Strategic and Performance, Haytham Isa Ali Sahli, Assistant Under Secretary for Support Services. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qibiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's continued support to the kingdom's educational sector and commended the winners of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in the field of education. The cabinet welcomed the kingdom's presidency of the World Customs Organization Council for a third consecutive term for the year 2022-2023, which reflects the global recognition of Bahraini citizens' leadership in global organizations. The cabinet commended Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa's efforts in his presidency of the WCO during his last two terms, which led to this re-election for a third consecutive term. The cabinet congratulated students who completed the academic school year, expressing their gratitude to the parents, teachers, and administrators of the Ministry of Education for their contributions to the exceptional achievements and success across all academic levels. The cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Finance and National Economy on the achievements of various housing programs provided to Bahraini citizens, including the Mazaya Housing Program, which has supported 10,629 beneficiaries. In this regard, His Royal Highness directed the inclusion of 500 additional beneficiaries in the Mazaya Housing Program, bringing the total number of beneficiaries to 2,500 recipients. His Royal Highness called on the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to offer additional financing schemes for housing services and stressed the importance of furthering efforts to develop innovative solutions for housing services that will accelerate the pace of delivery in partnership with the private sector. His Royal Highness then highlighted the importance of providing the necessary support to Bahraini pilgrims during their Hajj. He praised the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the support of the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for their commitment to facilitating services for Hajj pilgrims attending from across the world.
The Cabinet then approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the annual report and audited financial statements for the Future Generations Fund for the fiscal year ending on the 31st of December 2021. A memorandum by the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a number of MOUs and executive programs between Bahrain and Egypt which aim to enhance bilateral cooperation. A memorandum by the Minister of Oil and Environment regarding the request to join the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People which aims to enhance cooperation and build capacities in biodiversity preservation. A memorandum by the Minister of Sustainable Development regarding the preparation of the Kingdom's second National Voluntary Report on Sustainable Development Goals 2030. And a memorandum by the Minister of Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding the outcomes of the Political Coordination Committee of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, the 62nd meeting of the Commercial Cooperation Committee of the Gulf Cooperation Council and its accompanying meetings, participation in the 6th meeting of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Food Security, ministers' overseas engagements and the visit of foreign delegations to Bahrain for the month of July 2022. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 35 of 2022, appointing the following directors at the Ministry of Education. Fawaz Ahmed Shirogi, Director of the Communication Directorate. Nadia Saeed Naji Lamraisi, Director of the Information Systems Directorate. Zahra Abdullah Isa Dallal, Director of the Student Services Directorate. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the sixth graduation ceremony of Lycée Français International de Bahrain, held under his patronage at the Art Hotel and Resort. His Highness highlighted the progress of Bahrain's educational institutions as a testament to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support of the kingdom's comprehensive development. He noted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's support of initiatives that provide promising educational opportunities that contribute to enabling a skilled workforce that are capable of innovation and creativity. He emphasized that the success achieved by students is the result of their efforts, which will drive them to create a bright present and a prosperous future. The principal of the school thanked His Highness for his patronage of the ceremony, congratulated the graduates, and expressed gratitude to the school's teachers and staff for their work. His Highness then awarded certificates to the graduating students and wished them success in their future endeavors. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi attended a ceremony of His Highness Sheikh Salam al Ali al Sabah Informatics Award under the patronage of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jabbar al Sabah, and in the presence of the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al al Ahmed al Jabbar al Sabah, to honor the award winners. The Ministry of Education of the Kingdom of Bahrain won the project A Educational Portal, which is based mainly on His Majesty the King's Project for Future Schools and the Digital Empowerment Project. The Minister affirmed that the continuous care of His Majesty King 
King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa towards the educational sector and the continuous support of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa enabled the ministry to make more achievements at the regional and international levels. He received the award at the ceremony and praised the solid fraternal relations between the two countries at all levels, especially in the education field. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, conducted an inspection tour of the Public Health Directorate to review its progress and the level of achievement in its various departments as well as the latest developments in the National Genome Center. She affirmed that Bahrain continues to strengthen the pillars of the health sector to be more sustainable and resilient through the development of many mechanisms that comply with the highest approved medical standards to support the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister met with the medical and health staff, noting their national efforts within Team Bahrain. She affirmed keenness to maintain the achievements made in the field of public health and to ensure the improvement of the quality of services provided to all. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Iman Ahmed al Dosari, inaugurated the 10th edition of the annual UNMSME's Day Summit. Al Dosari stressed that the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain gave the utmost attention to the SME sector, whereas Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 aspires the transition from an oil based company to a productive and sustainable globally competitive economy. She added that the Ministry of Industry and Commerce continues its efforts to promote innovation by establishing the SME Development Council, which which aims to diversifying sources of income and supporting the national economy. She pointed out that since adopting the strategy in February 2018, the board was able to implement 73% of all initiatives by the end of 2021, which is a catalyst for moving forward in pursuit of providing everything that serves the SME sector. The governments of Bahrain, Egypt, Israel, Morocco, the UAE and the US, represented by senior officials from their respective foreign ministries, held the inaugural meeting of the Negev Forum Steering Committee. The committee's main objective is to further coordinate collective efforts and advance a common vision for the region. A framework document for the forum was out outlined, setting out the objectives of the forum and the working methods of its four-part structure. The foreign ministries ministers, ministerial, the presidency, the steering committee, and the working groups. This meeting demonstrates the strength of relations, shared commitment to cooperation, and the important opportunities unlocked by improved relations between Israel and its neighbors, showing what can be achieved by working together to overcome shared challenges. The participants also affirmed that these relations can be harnessed to create momentum in Israeli-Palestinian relations towards a negotiated resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and as part of efforts to achieve a just, lasting, and comprehensive peace. The steering committee discussed the assignment of chairs for each of the six working groups launched by the ministers at the Negev summit.